Hey world, I'm Josh. I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Coffee edition. Today we are drinking a coffee from Boxcar Look Coffee at our versus... magic mugs! Focus! Ooh. Oh, the focus is off when they push right here in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Matching mugs. Matching mugs. Boxcar is a coffee company, a coffee roaster from Denver, Colorado, and this is their Kenya Gachatha that my mom picked up for us when, and my sister, Hannah, hey Hannah, they went to Denver and they picked some up for us and they got us the mugs. So thanks again for the coffee and the mugs! <laughs> the varietal is SL-28 and Root 11. R U I R U 11. Let's look at what the beans look like. And um, the flavors are allegedly ap apricot, pomegranate, and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that face. <laughs> and as I look at the down at the bottom, the logo that it came with on the bag. So, they're just Chemex, normal ratio, etc, etc. You can learn about their coffee at boxcarcoffee.com, boxcarcoffee.com. And I'm going to shut up and hear what Lauren thinks about this hair, coffee hair. At first I was like, oh that's a dark roast. But then it really mellowed out. And it's really fruity. I get why you would say that, but it, yeah, it's got, um... It immediately becomes way less right. acidic. It's really not very acidic or bitter. It's really fruity. Um, like a candy apple, but not tart. I don't know, like, it's a caramel sweetness, but mm -hmm. not quite... This is a good one. Very drinkable. Um... It's got like the whole gamut of flavors. It does sort of hit you in a sort of like, mmm, that's kind of bitter caramel toffee-ish, but then it just sort of mellows out real quick into a sweetness. I don't know if I'd call it apricot or pomegranate, but whatever. That's not important. I don't really have any fruits that I would use to describe it. But... Yeah, neither, neither do I. Um, Maybe a tad raisiny, like a star, star what is it, star-kissed, sun-kissed raisins? Yeah. Star-kissed is tuna. Bubblebee tuna. <laughs> uh, it's a weird, it's weird, it's different, kind of whiny almost, but not with that wine acidity, not that dryness or acidity, but yeah. like... Yeah. I'd say it's like a slightly sweeter green apple, kind of. Um, tastes a little more Central American than Kenyan, surprisingly, I think. It's because I really think that the African coffee sort of hits you in the face with the, with the fruit taste, and the Central American, you gotta drink through a little bitterness to get to it. Mm. But overall, very drinkable coffee. Um, if I was a Denver resident, I would gladly go there and pick this up. But we are coffee explorers, and we just have to keep moving on until we run out of coffees to try. And we, and we have 11 billion mugs. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the collection is real. Yes, it's getting out of control. So, many more coffee videos to come, and no one can fault us because this one was roasted <sighs> on December 31st, and it is January 12th today. 13th. 13th. Okay. So, ha! We tried one on time. How do you like us now? There's gonna be a whole bunch later that are way past when we should have tried them. But this one's on time, and so will be a couple more. And then it will be back off track again. Yep. Thanks for watching. Tell us what to try next. And subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.